What's going on, crew? We are back. We haven't seen you guys since last year, but we are back, guys. We are ready to roll. 2024 is here. You guys have seen my collection. It's one of our top videos. Go and check it out if you haven't yet. But what we're doing this year is we're going all out and we're going to check out other collections. We're gonna call it Pop Hunt TV. And what better way to get started than with Mr. Josh. We're gonna start with Josh and hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's go check out his collection. Hi right, guys, we have made it to the first crib. Josh's crib. If you don't know Josh, he's on the podcast, he's on video, he's on content for us, and he works at our store, Pop Hunt Thrills. Uh, we gotta show him some love and let him be the first one to introduce us to this series. So let's see if Josh is home. Hello. Hello, Josh. Welcome to my house. Let's Come check on in. out his crib. Thank you for letting us come in here yeah, and checking no out your collection. Thank you for coming. Um, hope you're not nervous. You're the first one that we've <laughs> ever done this with. So, uh, and I hope I hope it's all good. I hope everything in this house kind of gives some people like, oh, I didn't know that existed, or you know. And we get to know you a little bit more get too, to know me a little what more. you like, because we talk about a lot on the podcast. Um, you know, we talk about yeah. a lot of business stuff, but we also collect. So I want you to kind of show me around and. Show the people what you collect and what you got. Yeah, for sure. So, so wherever you want to start, wherever take you want to start. All right. Well, so right here, I do have a couple things. Uh, notably, you'll see some of the Metallica stuff. I myself am heavy on um, metal, rock, you name it. Anything in that genre, I'm listening to. The Needler, and I got to say, I was so happy to pick this up. Oh, it actually, yeah, and it works. Lights up. It's it looks beautiful on display playing with it, it's 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 a blast. But that's from a uh, video game, right? Yeah, Halo, so. Halo, okay. Yeah, I'm not a big gamer guy, <laughs> so that's why I asked this. No, no, definitely. Um, it being, I mean, just as a normal side piece or like mm -hmm. having it on the side, it's, it, it looks really nice. And down at the bottom is gonna be my girlfriend's. Uh, she loves collecting pops too as well. She's really big on the What If series. Her big pickup was this uh, Comic-Con one. Nice. So, and we got that for at the, at the Buckeye event. Okay. And actually, this is the first big grail we picked up from your store. Oh, nice. This is a Zorro sign pop. It was mm -hmm. really nice. JSA approved, all that stuff. And this was before you even this is working for Pop Hunt? Before I even started working at Pop Hunt, yeah. So on, on the side, we have a Stormbreaker. <laughs> oh, wow. That it, is heavy. Yeah, it's got heft to it. I it, love it. It is heavy. I thought it was going to be like styrofoam. No. no. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Every kid's dream. I, but we recently picked this up too. The Loki? The Loki. Thanks to uh, Funko's Warehouse event. Funko's, Funko's Warehouse event again. Funko's a good hookup for that. The Buckeye event. And um, I'm a big fan of Moon Knight. I really love the series. You know, I love Moon Knight. I have a couple of theirs. Um, I think the recent one, no, that's the other one for the Loki series. And then that's Conchu. Yeah, Conchu, yeah. This was a cool, that was a Walmart exclusive, right? Uh, Target. Was it? Target? Okay, yeah, Target. Close. And our Affinity Gauntlet does light up too as well. Wow. They're all gonna be annoying, I, I'll tell you that. But this one has to be my favorite. Uh huh. This is the Eye of Agamotto, this is from Doctor Strange. Yeah. And then the, 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 the stone is detachable, so it's gonna take me a moment. And you can actually take it out of the thing. Oh, wow. And it lights up on its own. That is. So if you've seen Doctor Strange or if you've mm -hmm. seen Infinity War, um, this was one of the big pieces of the mm -hmm. Infinity Gauntlet. So it to be detachable and come out like that is so freaking cool. But there's another hammer down there. Mm -hmm. I would turn it on. It does light up, but it's also going to make an annoying noise. But again, it's why not? Why not? Oh! And it's cool because it's not all just pops and a wall full of pops. I like the style, yeah. I like the look of it. I like how you have it set up. Um, even if it just happened like overnight. <laughs> <laughs> it literally but happened overnight. This, it's a good thing. Yeah. So now you have something to like showcase, which is really cool. Yeah, so it looks good. You did a good job for a very short notice. <laughs> he he gave me like a day's notice. This is a day's worth of work. And yeah. I, last night, 
we did it. We were up till like one in the morning, but it turned out great. I think we love it ourselves. Um, and you're welcome for that. Because yes. You <laughs> have a nice setup. It, it was a nice little nudge for us to get going. <laughs> we have our Demon Slayer set uh, series. Um, we're missing one, I think. She has the whole collection, and she's just missing the Tengen Pop. And then on this side, we have the so Attack that's on Titan. all of them? No, but you have one of each character, or you have every single one? One of each character. Another Infinity Gauntlet, but it's going to be the Tony Starks. Mm -hmm. So this one is not as annoying, I think. This mm -hmm. one, more of you can wear. Other one you can wear, too, as well. It's got the little... A little bit of Magic the Gathering. I like to dabble in the art of um, witchcraft. Another 18 inch out of box. He fell from there. He broke his lightsaber, unfortunately. Yeah. But I can fix that with super glue. Yeah. <laughs> you have your cause figure out. Cause figure out. Looks good like that too. And the box itself looks good yeah. cool over there on that side Both too. of them, they just kind of complement each other. I think this is my little cubby of I consider Grails. I have a Johnny Depp signature pop there, and I also have my prototype Asta. Oh, from from um, Fun on the Run. Becker. Yeah, Mike Becker. Fun on the Run. So what do we got on this side? And on this side, we're gonna have a little bit more items too as well. Lightsabers, nice. everyone's favorite. And these do light up. They all do turn on. I'm off. I don't feel that. My favorite has to be the dark saber. I forgot to charge it. And these are the ones we actually took to um, the Masquerade event. On this. Yeah, so they've been places. Yes, you have a good collection, a cool collection of them um, displayed there. And yeah. then show us this one. Oh, this one's pretty cool too as well. So Shoot that at Angel. <laughs> so this and the other one are Nerf Blasters, the, uh -huh. the one I showed you on that side. That's a Nerf yeah. gun too as well. So this one is going to be the Mandalorian. So nice. it comes back up. I really like it. It's a real nice piece. I picked it up cheap on Amazon because they were doing their Black Friday sale. So, deals. That's nice. all I gotta say, deals. Then everything else is just gonna be miscellaneous stuff on this side. More of my daughter's piggy banks. Those are grails too. Uh, she's got a lot of coins. Yeah. And yeah. Bitty Pops. Bitty Pops. We tried our best to display those. Those are a little bit hard to display at the moment, but mm -hmm. we did our best. So now show us where the magic happens. No. <laughs> where the chaos happens. Where, where the chaos happens, so. so. Everybody has to have this. And some people, that's all they might have, but so we, we wanna see what you got in here. You saw the beauty of everything. You're gonna see the disaster of everything now. We're gonna have just a random wall of Funkos. And this is in our, our, our room. Mm -hmm. uh, I get um, lectured about it by my wife, so. <laughs> yeah, but and on. So I see something too cool that I remember this right here. So uh, yes, time that we opened those boxes in that back room, we'll have. We were freaking out about them. Definitely hidden grail there. That's something cool to to see, and uh, got the logic sign up here as well too. That's pretty cool to see something like that too. So this is kind of like your stuff where. Extras. Extras, stuff I'm selling and all that stuff. Stuff you're selling, stuff that, that you kind of don't know if you want to display over there. Yeah, I'm kind Some of like room. on the fence about those stuff. So. Yeah. And, and then, then the just pile. a mess. A mess on this side. This is mm -hmm. the problem with an apartment, you know. You don't know yeah. where to put it after a while, so it starts building up in your corners. And you can mm -hmm. see the 18 inch boxes. Those things take up a lot of space. I just yeah. realized that now. And we also have the. The box full of extra stuff. This is just unnecessary <laughs> pops I have. And yeah. you can see, I have doubles. I have doubles of the Green Goblins here. Yeah. I'm gonna have doubles of these two. Just, just everywhere. So those are the dilemmas that we go through when you love a pop. You over collect. You over collect. You think, uh, like, you know, you for sure you don't wanna sell a goblin. Um, if we see these fly off the shelf, are they long at the store? Uh -huh. And you have two of them, one for each sure for you to keep long term, but then one if one day it goes up in value, Just becomes a grail, you have an extra one there. No, sh I, I find no shame out of it. It's part of being a collector. Um, yeah. We sometimes pile things. You have space, we you gotta fill it. We sometimes put them in boxes. We sometimes just put them in, in, in a storage unit if you can, uh, or if you get out of hand. You're still pretty good. How many? items you feel like you have um i'm well over the the hundreds the hundreds that's for yeah. sure 
That's for sure. Actually, when we were kind of um, organizing mm -hmm. on the pops, we didn't think we had that much to as well, but mm -hmm. we remembered we doubled up on them. So we had two behind each one. And it was just oh, fit in that little area, but we we're pulling them out and it just kept coming out like, um, I don't have an analogy, but yeah. <laughs> and that's where the crazy pile ends up going to. Yeah, so. Um, so. It, it, it is, it's, it's a fun hobby. I, you know, I don't see any flaw in it, but it does take up space. That is for sure. It's funny because once you sell something, you buy another thing because Funko always comes out yeah. with more. So it's a never ending cycle. And I've seen worse cases. <laughs> I've seen, I've, I've gone out and bought in some collections and like, you've seen it too. Yeah. We go and picked up a couple collections. Like, you know, people are, some people are proud of it and some people are like, yeah, I just need it out and I need mm -hmm. it gone. If you guys like what you guys see here, guys, we are gonna put a link in this video too for you guys to apply. If you're here in Phoenix, Arizona, in the Valley, we're gonna put a link and we want you guys to share your PPG and share your collection, share some pictures with us so you can possibly be here in Josh's position and showcase your collection because we wanna get people to share, tell us their story, tell us about the very first pop you got or why do you collect this or everything that you have that's what we want to develop so we're hoping that you guys enjoy this video and yeah that's that is a wrap thank you josh thank you guys and we'll see you guys on the next episode